The Tennessee Williams Festival St. Louis celebrates the art and influence of the famous author. And joining us today are Kel Carrie Ely, director of A Lovely Sunday for Creep Corps, and Nissy Sturgis, who is playing Hannah Jelks in Night of the Iguana. So tell me about these pieces. So they're both <laughs> Tennessee Williams pieces, I, I'm assuming. Right. Okay. Uh, and, and very, very different. Mm -hmm. Really? Um, a Lovely Sunday for Creep Corps is about four fantastically, wildly different women okay. who all come together on this particular day. And they all have an objective, and there's a lot of conflict and a lot of tension. And it's a lot of comedy. Huh. It's the uh, one of his um, comedic plays. And actually, A Lovely Sunday for Creve Corps uh, was used as the inspiration for the Golden Girls. Really? Yeah. Well, so that'll get some, people interested. Who doesn't love the Golden Girls? Yeah. 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 Man, I'm telling you, everybody yeah. like black, white, young, oh, yeah. we all love the Golden Girls, yeah. so that's good to know. You so never know. So it's the opposite of Night of the Iguana. Is it? Is it the opposite? The, the, um, yeah. the feeling I have about the show is that Williams is always balancing this sort of wicked, delightful sense of humor, mm -hmm. and there's this struggle that, you know, everyone has to come together. It's right. often strangers meeting, looking for understanding, right. and so there's, there's always this embedded perspective of what's funny about hard times right because we are all in the middle of them mm -hmm. and so the cruelty and kindness and how we meet in a place where we can go forward together pull in the same direction mm -hmm. human right. experience amen I yeah. love it okay so uh, what do you look for what forward to it being the director of your production I have four wonderful actresses yeah I adore them I come home from rehearsal and I'm so excited mm. I they, they just energize me there I try to get all these ideas put together I want to try to convey that sense of struggle and conflict right but he he makes it in a humorous way. Mm -hmm. So I want that to shine through. And I also want that the realism of that conflict yeah. to shine through. I, I don't, and I, find yeah. the heart and soul of these women and their relationship to one another. Is this your first time working with an all-female cast? It is. Really? So yes. that must be exciting, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's pretty fun. good. So uh, does it incorporate music or anything? or is this We have some music. He, Williams has written in uh, Me and My Shadow. Okay. And, uh, and so we, we're trying to find music of the period, mm -hmm. things that people might have heard of mm -hmm. uh, and, and listened to perhaps when they were younger. Oh, nice. Yeah. So when was this written? Like, how old is it? Oh, dear, you're going to ask me. It is, you should ask me. It's, right. I think it was written around 1968. It's oh, one okay. of his later yeah. plays. Because I don't know much and about Tennessee Williams. I know he's from St. Louis. I know, I know well, you know, I, at least I'm I feel honest. like you would be great friends. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, I know about the Tennessee Williams Festival. It comes around every year. This I'm is always, our fourth annual. Yeah, I yes. see. So it's like I, I see a lot of the... Um, I see a lot of the, the ramp up to it and the mm -hmm. promotion of it, but mm -hmm. I just, I don't know much about his work. Obviously, I've seen his name. So it does sound like something that, I mean, how influential was he to popular culture in the U.S.? <gasps> well, I know that, I mean, yeah. I just found out about the Golden Girls. I'm using that as a trivia question. Yeah. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like he, pull, he pulls back the curtain on the human heart. And there's so much that I feel like we were dealing with after the Depression, mm -hmm. and there was so much loss that he sort of put on display and said, it's okay for us to have this sort of portal of pain that we can look at and sit in a room and laugh and cry and say, we're all here together right. still. We somehow have survived this, and what does it take to survive? Okay. Um, and he does it. It's, it's never just, um, I mean, loneliness can be part of the engine of all of the plays, right. but right. he's really curious about how we connect. And that's often about those moments where you're, at your most vulnerable, yeah. you know, which that's always funny. Right. And Williams was a, a very prolific writer. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that's exciting about the festival is that they not only have the main stage production of Night of the Iguana, right. but they also have a lovely Sunday for Creve Corps. Oh, yes. uh, yeah. So that's a lesser known play. Mm -hmm. But through the through the four seasons, we've seen the Rooming House plays. Right. Um, and readings of some of his one acts gotcha. and panels. So we'll, and, yeah. we'll, we'll talk more yeah. about his work and more great. about the festival. Oh, so there's more on the Tennessee Williams Festival in St. Louis after this break. So stay with us more on STL Live. Thank you guys so much.